Fresh off the press, Sam Levin has been announced as the Sun Devil starting week one quarterback. You are Locked On Sun Devils, your daily podcast on the Arizona State Sun Devils. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome back to the Locked On Sun Devils podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. My name is Richie Bradshaw. I will be your guide for everything Arizona State Sun Devils. Shout out to my everydayers who are here every day. Thanks for making us your first listen of the day. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, turn on notifications wherever you're getting your shows. Stay in touch by following me on Twitter at RichieBrads36, the podcast at LO underscore Sun Devils. Do me a favor. If you have not hit subscribe on YouTube yet, hit that subscribe button and help us get to 1,000 subscribers so we can find a way to celebrate as a channel. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially announced our starting quarterback. Sam Levitt, the transfer redshirt freshman from Michigan State, the quarterback who beat out Jaden Rashada in spring ball. Rashada uncoincidentally decided to transfer shortly after this. And basically ever since spring, we've pretty much known that Sam Levitt is your week one starting quarterback. There's there's been a lot to get us to this point. I think that's where we start our conversation is how how did we get here? We flash back to exit interviews in November of last year. Kenny Dillingham tells Trenton Borgay, he tells Jaden Rashada, hey, we're bringing in competition. Someone is coming in through the transfer portal. Are you in or out? And they both said, we're in, we're about competition. They bring in Sam Levitt former four-star recruit, same cycle as Jaden Rashada, somebody who flashed a little bit at Michigan State, only appeared in three, maybe four games, comes to Arizona State, feels like a pretty good fit for this offense. He is a quality athlete. He's somebody that can maneuver the pocket when it breaks down. He can make off-schedule throws. He's a little bit of a dual threat. It's, It's a really good quarterback for a Kenny Dillingham offense that wants to attack attack everything in a pro-style approach, but also has the ability to get those off-schedule plays. Sam Levitt fits that well. Now, you get to spring, and Levitt is out for the competition. Uh, Jaden Rashada, to start spring ball, is recovering from, I believe it was a finger injury and a surgery that he got at the time, so he was a little slower to get on the field. Once he got onto the field, it was just very clear that Levitt was outperforming him. Levitt was outperforming everyone, in fairness to Jaden. And they pretty much confirmed, like, hey, you know, this is this is the quarterback who has been the best at spring ball so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we go through the summer, and we continue to hear good, 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 good. All about Sam Levitt. Excuse me. My apologies. We get to training camp. Sam Levitt running with the ones. Now, they did bring in competition once again. Jeff Sims comes through the transfer portal previously at Nebraska. Sims is a veteran. He has a lot of starting time under his belt. This is a good veteran to push Sam Levitt. I don't know that there was ever a possibility that he was going to supplant Sam Levitt is the starter, but this was a good option to push Levitt, somebody who has a lot of college football experience. We continue to see him progress and progress. He looks strong. He looks really, really comfortable in this offense. He looks like a a perfect a, a, a perfect quarterback for a Kenny Dillingham offense. And lo and behold, everything starts to fall into place. Now... August 19th, the the second Monday before ASU kicks off their season. So in 12 days, ASU will open a year at home against Wyoming. They have officially announced Sam Levitt as the starting quarterback. And it makes a lot of sense for how we got to this point. It makes a lot of sense that Sam Levitt does end up being your guy. When you look at everything in the offseason that happened from his choice to come to Arizona State, the fit and outperforming everyone, it makes a lot of sense. It also makes sense that Kenny Dillingham has identified Sam Levitt as a perfect candidate to 
to lead an offense that we are anticipating is going to be better than last year. We are anticipating is going to take that step forward in terms of production, take that step forward in terms of explosiveness, and you needed someone to be able to lead the way. Levitt is brought in for all those reasons. To clarify, at no point in time was Levitt brought in to be the backup quarterback. Quite the opposite. Sam Levitt was brought in to compete to be the starting quarterback. Jaden Rashada was going to compete to be the starting quarterback. Trenton Borgay was going to compete to be the starting quarterback. This has been the plan all along. They didn't bring in Sam Levitt with the idea of that's QB2, that's QB3. No, they always had the idea that this is QB1, but he's got to prove himself. And Sam Levitt has done exactly that. He has proven himself to be QB1 for this team. And it's it's a really exciting time for ASU. You're in the second year of Kenny Dillingham, a offensive guru, somebody who has rebuilt the structure of this team in terms of character, in terms of determination, all that good stuff that you want to see from your program. Kenny Dillingham is building that up. The next step is winning more football games and having production and having guys that really become household names in Tempe. This is this is a good start, is Sam Levitt being able to capture that starting role. If he plays up to par and if he plays well, then you've, you've got yourself your starting quarterback for the next handful of years. But we also need to understand that this is a redshirt freshman who doesn't have a lot of time. Probably need to give him a little bit of grace to start the year. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we should be paying attention to for week one. We'll hop into that. In just one moment, this is the Lockdown Sunnables podcast, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day. You've heard us talk about FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Well, we've got something different for you now because through September 22nd, all FanDuel customers can bet $5 and get a three-week free trial of NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV. Then, with a YouTube TV base plan, You'll be able to watch every regular season game Sunday afternoon out of market games. All you need to do is have a Google account and a current form of payment, and you can cancel at any time. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to download America's number one sports book. Also want to talk to you about our friends over at eBay Motors. Passion, drive, patience. The formula for winning championships is what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And the eBay Guaranteed Fit means your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because of the eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only, exclusions apply, eBay guaranteed fit, only available to U.S. customers. Once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in, making us your first listen of the day. Shout out my everydayers who are here every day. And thank you for tuning in as always. Let's go ahead and get back into our conversation about Sam Levitt. We're going to talk about what the, not, not even the expectations, what to look for. In week one, because we can't go into week one and expect that he's going to absolutely dominate. In fact, we should probably go in expecting Sam Levitt to have some struggles. It's it's bound to happen for anyone. We would be going into week one with the same expectations for Jaden Rashada is that there were going to be some struggles. This is an offense that is quite different from last year. Kenny Dillingham is back, sure, but it's a brand new offensive coordinator with Marcus Royal. You also are replacing your number one receiver in Elijah Badger and your number one tight end in Jalen Conyers. This is a team that is vastly different from last year. You have Cameron Scadaboo returning. You've got DeCarlos Brooks returning. You've got Troy O'Mary returning, Mel Con Stovall. Other than that, it's a lot of new faces. The offensive line, hopefully, will be 100% healthy. It's a brand new tight end room. You are looking at a brand new number one, potentially even a number two receiver. 
you are you're looking at a backfield that's got a lot of juice to it. So there's a lot of moving parts on offense that ASU is going to have to take their time and figure out what works, what doesn't work. This is this is brand new compared to where you were a year ago. And that could be a very good thing for this team is having a clean slate, being able to move forward and understand like, hey, you know, last year at this time, this didn't really work. This is what we're going to be working with this year. So I'm excited to see how everything pans out. But again, we also have to understand that this is going to be a process for this team. How it relates to Sam Levitt, exactly the same way. The difference is he's the starting quarterback. He's the one under center. He's going to be the one that's 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 calling all the shots. He is going to need some training wheels. So Kenny Dillingham, Marcus Royal are going to need to help him out as he gets started and as he gets settled in. That's that's not really a debate. They they absolutely need to be hands on. Down the road, maybe you take them off. But for week one, training wheels need to be on. You also want to see the way he, the way he not maneuvers, but the way he orchestrates the offense. He's going to get the play calls, obviously. How is he going to get everyone settled in? How is he going to distribute the football? How run heavy are they going to be is another really important question. Because with the depth you have in the backfield, ASU may be inclined to run the heck out of the football to start the year. They may decide, you know, hey, Sam needs three or four games to kind of get settled in. We're going to run the ball 70-30. And that's more than a good thing with, with the talent you have back there. But if you decide to let Sam let it air it out a little bit, how is he going to adjust to that? That's that's where you want to see week one is kind of like how how the offense works, where the offense is going to be, where Sam Levitt's going to be. Are we going to see him throw the ball 25 times? Are we going to see him throw the ball less than 20 times? Are they are they taking shots downfield? Is everything underneath? Are we expecting lots of screen passes? Are we expecting stuff over the middle? Is it going to be a typical Kenny Dillingham? Two seconds and the ball is out. There's all sorts of stuff that we're going to be really intrigued and paying attention to for the offense entirely, but especially with Sam Levitt to see how he responds, how he how he works this offense. That's kind of the bottom line here. What are we looking for in, in, in week one? Pretty much how Sam Levitt responds to the play calling. I would hope that they're going to be very run heavy to start the year. Probably the first month of the year. I would like to see ASU take a 60-40, maybe even a 70-30 approach at just running the football with Cam Scadaboo, with Alton McCaskill, with, with Carlos Brooks, Relique Brown, everybody in that backfield. I want to see them absolutely distribute those carries. They have good players in the passing game. I'm all about Troy Mary. I'm all about Jordan Tyson at receiver. I'm all about Shimon Mateer at tight end. The pieces are there. How quickly are they going to give Sam Levitt the keys to throwing the football a lot? That's where we're going to be paying the most attention for the year. But as far as week one goes, How's the offense look? How comfortable does Sam Levitt look? And if he is asked to carry the offense and throw the heck out of the football, how does he look? That's what we're going to be asking ourselves. I want to know what you guys think of Sam Levitt officially being QB1 for this team. Let me know in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter, RichieBrad36, the podcast, at LO underscore Sun Devils. Wherever you get your shows, hit like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you get an update whenever we post new content. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and making us your first listen of the day. Shout out my everydayers who are here every day. If you have not hit subscribe on YouTube yet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, help us get to a thousand subscribers. We'll be back a little bit later today as we officially begin our breakdown series position by position. We'll be starting with the offensive line. I'll see you there. Till then, you keep it locked right here on Locked On